Go ratings, Poke fans! Michael here, and welcome to the 32nd episode of my Pokemon Moon Wonderlock. In the last episode, we fought our way through the very end of Vast Pony Canyon and defeated the Kamo O trial with uh, Kamfei, using their fair tap moves, and then switched out to take out the Scizor with Talonflame. So now we are about to reach the climax of the story by heading to the Altar of the Moon, and I'm very excited to see what these cutscenes look like in moon version, because I've only seen them in sun. So, for some reason there's a ton of light coming out of that, even though it's night. But here we are. So cool. Mmm, Spicer! Thanks, Hapu. I knew that would happen. I almost, like, ran out of there to heal, but I was like, nah, there's no way she doesn't heal my team. All of uh, Lucimine's Pokemon are level 50, so I think I should be fine, because my team's, like, 49, 50, 51, so it's, like, it's close. Um, but I am going to put Magnezone in front... Um, okay, Magnazone is holding Steelium Z, which is what I want him to hold, because the member I'm the most scared of is the Clefable, and so therefore, what I, la I think I'm going to do what I did last time, and just, like, what do you call it, uh, Steelium Z it right away, take it out, get it out of the way, and then take out the other ones, which shouldn't be as challenging. run up these epic steps. I'm like actually doing this at the proper time of day. Back in sun, I like did this at night and it's like we start doing Lily's like, I think we should wait till the sun is high in the sky. But I wanted to do that for this. Oh, it's a half moon. That's cool. I feel the strong power of the moon. This is such a great scene. Great music, too. Mmm, spice! You should stand up there. Also, uh, Bank is now out. I have not done very much transferring, but I will shortly. Wow, you can just, like, just fall to your death pretty easily there. Where is the... Where's the thing? Oh, it's over here. There we go. And there we go, right to it. I like how the lighting on us is like completely the same even though it's nighttime. I, like how, I also like how we immediately know how to play it. <laughs> this is so cool, though. Hi, Bobbies! That's pretty epic. I still like Solgaleo more, but this is cool. <laughs>
Sweet! Mahina! Never understood those sounds. And like, don't. It probably has, like, has something to do with like the translation, but like. Mahina Pia! <laughs> Oh, it just scoops us up. Interesting. Thought we might hold on to its back, but I guess we just get scooped up for this. Well, all right then. Mahina P A. I still haven't decided whether or not I want to wonder trade Lunala. Hmm. I really don't know if I want to or not. Is my squad all good? Everything looks to be good. What up, Guzma? How long? You've been here for like a couple weeks now. I feel like where are you? Where are you getting food? Y'all are stupid. Possessed him. Uh. Definitely the most intense story in a Pokemon game, I would say. The fate of the world isn't at state, but just, like, loose me. It's so, like, creepy and, like, weird and, like... Lusamine is just, like, she's a great villain because she just really has just lost her mind. Oh, yeah, that's... She is, yeah, extremely unsettling. It's kind of sad she lost her mind after Mon disappeared. I was looking at some theories on Reddit earlier about, like, why we just, like, can go to Poke Pelago and find Mon, and he's just there, no problem. Like, but why doesn't anybody else seem to know about him? My personal theory is that that's an alternate Mon from a different universe, and he and her original Mon traded places, and so therefore neither of them remember anything, and the Mon from the other universe is just like, well, I remember my name, I guess I'll just, you know, start doing this Pokepelago stuff. Maybe Lusamine did meet him and just be like, that's not him. I don't know.
Lucimine does not grasp the concept of unconditional love. Mmm! Lily laying down sass to the mama! I've seen it before, but I'm very involved. That line really hits deep, though. <laughs> Ever since you met this boy, hmm, hmm, spicy, and learn to defy your own mother. Go, fam. The most disturbing thing in a Pokemon game to ever happen that's not like a Pokedex entry is about to happen. Oh, it's still unsettling. Ugh. I like like it in a weird way. I like how much I hate it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just noticed it's just like <laughs> I'm a giant monster. Look at this tiny little Pokeball. <laughs> Again, with the low camera angle on Magnus, that makes no sense. Okay, let's do this. I want to do this before it boosts itself with cosmic power and stuff like that. I think I've used this Z move more than any other in this game. <laughs> Fairy types are so bulky. Dear God. Uh, I knew this thing would be hard. Please. Oh, God. have to hope for the special defense drop. Yes! Okay, that's helpful. Oh, come on! What's the PP of Moonlight? I'm probably gonna have to wear that out. is this going to do? Okay, that's very manageable. Oh, I'm concerned about running out of PP. Oh, nice. Don't use Moonlight. I have to see what the PP of that is, because I feel like I might just have to wear out the PP of it. PP5, so she's already used it three times. It's gonna run out. Yes, that's so helpful! Okay, don't do anything insane! Shift gear. Oh 
that's weird. Okay, can Flash Cannon kill from this range now? Oh, what? The freaking speed boost! <sighs> oh, okay. If it doesn't use Moonlight, we're good. Okay, don't do anything crazy. Uh, oh, yes! Yes! Oh, man, that scared the crap out of me. Okay, I think this is where it goes down. There we go, finally. God, I hate Clefable. Beware. Okay, we're gonna use Comfy for this, because this thing's defense is through the roof. And it doesn't have any moves that are good against it. Alright. Uh, I forgot about that. Oh, haha! -ha! Oh, that's that that's totally okay. Sweet. We're gonna go comfy. Okay, Lilligant is definitely a talent flame job. Because her Lilligant, like, the only attacking moves it knows are grass type. So. There we go, one shot. Okay. I know my Lodix coming up. Is my Lodix special attack? Or special defense? Special, or defense or special defense better? Because I want to go for the one. Special defense is, wow, very high. Okay, we're going to want to use, we're definitely going to want to use, um. This is Crocodile. We're going to use Decidueye against, um. My Lodic, because if I remember correctly, it only knows Hydro Pump and then like three normal moves. Oops, I typed Lusamone. <laughs> and it's like correcting me to Lunatone. <laughs> okay, let's see. Alright. Yeah, no, it's Hydro Pump, Safeguard, Flail, and Recover. So, definitely going to want to use Decidueye for my Lodic, but right now we're using Crunch, because this does not have any moves that are good against Crocodile. Alright, lowering my special attack is fine. Nice! Way to go, Crocodile. Alright, my Lodic. Last Decidueye. Gonna use Leaf Blade. Hope for a crit, maybe we can knock it out. Leaf Blade. That's safeguard from status conditions, right? Can't remember what it does. Ooh. I think I'm gonna try and kill it with Sucker Punch. Ah, it didn't work. Oh, I should've, should've known. Crap. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna try that again. <laughs> we're just gonna Leaf Blade until it's dead. Oh, there we go! Oh, it was! Okay, yeah, Safeguard doesn't guard from critical hits. I think that's Lucky Chant that does that. Okay. Alright, we beat her! Uh. Yeah, it was kind of scary there for a bit with, uh, with Clefable, but we got it done. Uh.
Okay, yeah, so Galio j leaping in was definitely more badass in my opinion. <laughs> Just like Sogalio, like coming in was just like, whereas Lunala was like, hello. So, still a fan of Sogalio. Lunala's cool, but definitely like Sogalio more. We did it. It was more emotional the first time, but that just makes sense for it to be more emotional the first time. <laughs> I totally thought that Lucimine was gonna die when that happened, but then she didn't, so... Oh, this is a little Grovile figure that fans sent me. They sent me, like, a pack of all four, like, Mega Sceptile, Regular Sceptile, Trico, and I just have them on my desk, and I just, like, play with them. I, like, always have to have something to, like, play with with my hands. Mm. Kinesthetic, if I'm remembering the term correctly from elementary school. Oh, we have to battle Lunala now, don't we? No, Lily, you can train Lunala. Yes, you can. Just give it time. Ugh. I don't know if I have the emotional guts to wonder trade away this Lunala. It's... <laughs> it doesn't let me walk under it. Well, I think I'm just going to use the Master Ball. Save myself time. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, we're gonna use the Master Ball. I don't wanna risk this thing killing anyone. I think it's more important that I don't let it 
kill any members of my team than it is to save the Master Ball for post-game stuff. This, does this battle, like, start over, like, the last couple legendary battles where it's just, like, you know, if you knock it out, it, like, tries to go again? I said this in my son playthrough, but I still think it's very impressive that Lily still cares so much for her mother and wants to make sure that she's okay after all the terrible things that her mother did. I can't wonder trade the Lunala. That's just... It's too emotional. I can't just get rid of it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you wanted me to, but... I can't do it. Nana, you are such a weird guy. Oh, that's what tripped me up. Back in my son, I was like, oh, you beat all four kahunas in a row. Okay, yeah, let's do that. But then he said, I miss the things are different this year. Sure, we'll go now. God, you are so creepy, Nanu. Jeez. Well, guys, next time, in the next episode, we are going to begin our climb to Mount Lanakila, getting very, very close to finishing up the Pokemon Moon Wonderlock. I am going to get out of here, because I need to edit this episode, and then record the next one. But anyways, that is all I have for now, everyone. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, answer the comment question down below, and that is all I have for now. So until next time, big fans! Gotta catch them all!